it's Kivon from ktstamps.com creating cards for you and today is um, throw the dice Thursday and I am so excited I am coming to you about 10 minutes early I unfortunately have to go someplace by five so starting at four gives me just a little more time to do so so without further ado our throw the dice last time was slimline texture masculine brights and sponging well i hit three out of the five so i'm hoping that you will like the cards that we make today so our first card is a sl slimline card and it can be you know sent in a large envelope or a legal type envelope and um, all the measurements are located in this blog or it will also be on my website if you'd like to look there so this is just a fun little card that has everything you need on the outside we have a little bit of an embossing folder and we use the painted texture both on the um what is it poppy parade and also on the um slate what is it the something slate oh god i can't remember names right now but I will think about it in just a minute. And then we also have just our DSP. And our DSP is Smoky Slate. And our DSP is um, a retired DSP. It's called Well Suited. And it was from last year, I think. And I just really liked it and I didn't use as you can see I did not use a lot of these so I just decided I wanted to pull this out and use some of these as long as well as my retired stamp thinking thanks and peace which I just used and I stamped the smoky slate before I put it through the embossing folder. So I stamped it on the smoky slate, put it through the um, embossing folder with the painted texture. And that's how I got this saying at the bottom. And then the main stamp set that I am using is handsomely suited and also with the suit and tie dies. So we're going to go ahead and just get started with this one. So I think this is about nine, nine and a half by eight, I think is what it is. And so then we just scored it in the middle, which makes it about four inches, I think. All right. And then from here, we have our, um, just our basic gray. And let me find my, oh, I don't know where it went to. My silicone pad. Love my silicone pad. Okay. And this we're just going to center on the I lie, we're not going to center it on the front right yet. God, I always do this sometimes when I am on camera. I hope I do not tear this very much. How many of you guys have done this? Come on. Put up your hands, realizing that for the most part, oh my God, you forget to do this. All right. Yes, and it came off without tearing the bottom. I know that I have my, I'm going to grab two. So as you know, silicone pads, my best friend, is one that you just stick on the pad and it doesn't go anywhere. So we're very lucky as far as that goes. So we are going to just take 
are three stripes and I am just going with the smoky slate, the white, and the basic gray. That's all I'm going to go with for this. It's just, I think I'm going to just pick this up, put this right here. Get this out of the way. All right. So we have our one, our two, and our three. Now before I do anything with these, I'm going to just try to match them up just a little bit. And I do not know what that's going to look like, but I know that that is exactly what I did. Let me see if this is the way that it goes. And then I'm using these. That is the way that goes. Alright, so now all I'm going to do is bring down my big piece and I am just going to put down the top and make sure that they are exactly where they need to be. And isn't this nice when you're able to just stick this down and you don't have to worry about It's sticking to my paper. All right, so this one we just need to come over a little bit. There you go. And on this one, we need to just come over a little bit towards the side. So here's the top part. All right, yay! Then we have our thinking of you. And it, I already put it through the embossing folder. And this is one also where I like to use liquid glue on this one because then it gives me a chance to have a little bit of movement. And I still have, oops. I still have my I'm gonna put this down below so it'll stick. I still am able to have all my all the different type of em the movement from the embossing folder. I'll move this up just a little bit more. Okay, so from here, we're just going to take this over to the side. Give it a little rub. Woohoo! Then we are going to take our piece of poppy and we are going to do the exact same thing with it. You're not going to be able to see it, but I just wanted to give it a little bit of texture. Even though we're going to cover it up. Alright, we already have the tape on the back. So we are bringing in a retired Playful Pet Trim Combo. And I like this because it has the black on the inside and I think that black goes so well with this. So I'm just going to get a little bit and just go around and I'm going to do it so there is three of these.
and then I am going to get my scissors and give it a little cut. Now from here, I can just go ahead and play with this just a little bit to bring it down to where I'd like it to be. Okay, and now I'm just going to come up and over. Some people do have do add a piece of um, scotch tape, so I can bring in my scotch tape. So you can also see have my scotch tape, and all I'm going to do is put it right over top of those ends. All right, and then just add some more adhesive to it. All right, and that makes up the front of the card. Now I'm just going to reposition it again and place it on my card. Or place it on the card base, I should say. Now, I am going to leave this one blank, and one of the reasons that I'm going to do that is because I don't know exactly what I am going to use this masculine card for. You can do it for a, you know, Father's Day that's passed, a happy birthday, um, a retirement party anything that you want this would be available and it's pretty awesome then all I am going to do is take my big piece of this and I think it's about one inch by nine and a half and I'm just going to put it on the side of my card to just add just a little bit of something on the inside. Alright, so there's my first card. And I know that the this is in the neutrals just a little bit. I, I really, really, really enjoy it. I think this is great. I stamped the bottom with um, the basic gray and I did forget to write that in the um, instructions. Hi Seema! I love you. It's good to hear you, see you. I really appreciate you watching me. So there is our first card. We are done. So now the second card is just a little bit different. And I went with something that looked like it was a suit. And again, everything that I used from that you can find in the Handsomely Suited. And this one is, I think it's just gorgeous. And I think that it's male, female, could be genderless. You know, I just wanted to, I wanted to do, you know, have a happy, and then kind of leave that, but I just decided happy birthday with the tie in the corner. So, and I love the adding the bubble bath in here with it being stamped with uh, Moody Mob, just added a really big touch. And when you do the ties, you wanna make sure that you cut out two ties. So let's go ahead and put this together. As you can see, all our stuff is in here. We have the collar for the shirt. And I think it goes this way. I'm gonna turn it one more time. And you wanna be careful with that because it is really, really delicate. You have the half a tie that you are going to cut off. You are going to have this little thing that is just a, for the pocket gives you the look of the pocket. You have the tie, you have the 
lapel. You have the front part of the suit. And then I have two white, basic white, and one is already stamped, ready to go. The other one is just going to represent the beautiful white shirt that you put on underneath your um, suit. So we're gonna go ahead and just get started. This should be quick and easy. So it should be about the same size. If it isn't, then we can go ahead and cut it down but i wanted to put this on first i want to do it without any glue at all and then i am going to add my collar and the collar these straight lines will go towards the front you will be putting these on with a i hope i have them yes with a small or a mini dimensional. And when you do that, you want to put it up towards the top, the dimensional. So I'm going to put on two on each side. Reason that you want to do that is because you got to be able to fit your tie underneath this. Okay, and the tie is going to also have on it a dimensional. So we'll just take these off. I thought about putting these on before I did the the video, but then again, sometimes life gets in the way. This is just so beautiful. I love a good suit. It's one of my favorites. And when I was younger, I used to make ties for my father. So I love making ties for him. All right, so let's pull that up, take a little look at it. it looks like it needs to go over just a little bit towards the right. And I'm hoping I can do this without tearing this. It's a little crooked for me. There we go. Oh. And we got to do the doctor again. I'm just putting a little bit of liquid glue on these. All right, so let's get this lined up again. All right, and we're going to put it right in there. All right. There we go. All right. Yes. So now we can take this off. We can bring in the little mini dimensionals, and we are just going to put dimensionals down the front. Oh, boy, this one dimensional does not want to stay down. There we go. Here's our dimensional, or here is our tie. And we are just going to take the dimensionals off and we are going to place the tie under the collar. There we go. And this is just going to lift right up. And then we're just going to bring it down. So there we go, we have our shirt ready. Woohoo! Doesn't that look beautiful? Yep, me, I have a little eraser to get off some of the black or the mess that happens when you are crafting. Alright, so I have that. Then what I'm going to do 
is bring in my silicone pad and my lapel and again this is another little dainty thing so you want to grab your liquid glue and you just want to put a light amount on you want to make sure that you have it up at the top and in this corner down at the bottom okay where the V is There we go, and now we are just going to line up the lapel, placing it at the top on both sides, and letting it lay flat. I'm just lifting out the sides. I just wanted to have just a little bit of a lift in here. Forgot until I got it down. There you go. This is just so easy. So the next thing we're going to do is bring in our tie, and the tie is going to kind of act as a handkerchief. If you want to make two of these, you can, but for the most part, I just wanted to have this sticking up so it just looks um, so nice on the tie. Gave a little bit of color to the middle of the suit as it sticks to my fingers. And I'm just going to try to get it even. And then I'm going to cut the bottom off. And now we have our tie. Or I mean our pocket handkerchief. And I'm just going to put it down below the top, just to kind of give just a little pop of color there. Love that. It's looking so beautiful. I love men wearing purple and pink. It's just so attractive to me. So now what we're going to do is that we are going to turn this over. And I have my adhesive, foam adhesive sheets. And all I'm going to do is put these on top and all the way down. So this is going to sit up just a little bit. And you want to You want to make sure that where the tie is, that you shouldn't have anything below the tie. So you want to get it just a little bit around. I'm so excited. I love the way that this card looks. It was one of my first purchases that I made when I saw this stamp set, and I think it was last year, and I just thought, wow, what a beautiful thing. And I'm just taking off the foam adhesive. I just put one on the bottom. You may want more than that, but I'm just doing my one. And then I am just going to line this up. And before I stick it down, 
plant. I want to make sure that I have it. Nice and loose. So there is my beautiful, beautiful seat. I'm just going to turn it over. I have a little bit hanging out at the bottom. Just let that be. And if I need to, I will cut it. And there we go. Isn't that beautiful? Just such a great stamp set. Put a whole bunch of dies that totally support it. Now again, I did just the, I did the tie, and then I did the happy birthday. These are done in Night of Navy, and the cardstock is also, the base card is Night of Navy. There we go. There are our cards that we made today. I love the way that they look. I love the fact that they are nice and masculine looking. Anybody could wear this beautiful suit. So now I'm getting everything out of the way so we can get ready for our next Throw the Dice Day, which is two weeks from today. And again, guys, if you really like my videos, please subscribe. Please like at the bottom. Please comment. I really appreciate that. It's one of my favorite things. Um, if you miss it here, you can always find me on YouTube. Again, you can always find me on my blog. So, without further ado. Alright, next time. Boy, I really like these brights and slimline. I think I'm going to change the slim line. I want the slim line to be something else. Okay. Monochromatic. I like that. So this is congratulations or congrats, coloring, embellishments, monochromatic, and in brights. And I'll do that next time. So guys, thank you for spending Thursday with me. I really appreciate it on this beautiful afternoon. I really thank you for subscribing. I thank you for just being so kind and being my friends. Again, remember, I do not have a problem if you case my cards, so please feel free. And know that I am just creating cards for you. And if you need any advice, if I can help you in any way, if you don't have a demonstrator, I am glad to be your demonstrator. If you'd like to join my team, please feel free. But again, my name is Kivon. I'm at ktstamps.com. And again, I love creating cards for you. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye, friends.